<clears throat> All right, shalom, on, shalom. On. Call Hula Ima, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great wisdom who rule well. And as always, we give peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for the night that scattered abroad. To you, brothers out there pushing the truth with their righteousness and sincerity, and to the Yahweh, the few sisters that are listening and learning. To you, I say shalom. <clears throat> All right, coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and go win and try to find the feet and arms in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Through the spirit of Rikaka Dasha, I pray it's to be able to find it straight to the point. All right, and we're just going to jump right into it, man. As you see, <laughs> things are about to take a drastic turn, okay? Things are about to get serious out here, man, okay? It's time for you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up, man, because... Shit is about to get real. All hell is about to get ready to break loose. All right. In these up and coming weeks. Okay. All right. So, hey. When tomorrow is November the 1st, man. So, you know, ain't no telling what November is going to bring. October has brought a lot of stuff. All right. With uh the whole Kanye West and whole the whole Kanye West and Kyrie Irving situation thing. All right. The controversy of Zion. All right, so, hey, we're about to see what November is going to be like, man. All right, and the days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. So, hey, things are moving fast, man. This pot is about to be turned up, man. All right, things are about to turn up. That's why Elder Apostle Tahar coined this year, the year of turn up, okay? So, hey, going into 2023, things are not looking good, man. All right, and as you can see, <laughs> before, uh, before January 1st, man, all right, Things are about, and things are looking, look, things are looking bad, man, and it's going to get worse, okay? So without further ado, let's get into this article, man, all right? <clears throat> enough of rambling. All right, this is from EntineHeadlines.org, all right? It says, Idaho grocery store shelves could be bare in a matter of weeks. Did you hear that? All right, and this is going to eventually spread throughout America, Babylon the Great. You see some part of that, you see some of that, you know, you know, in um most of the states, man. But hey, this this is gonna spread like wildfire, man. Okay, so the Lord Yahweh Shmuelsha is bringing a famine to this place, man. Bringing a famine to this land. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So without further ado, let's read this article. All right, and this was not really a long article. It's not a long article, and I will post the article in the description box. Okay. All right. So let's read on. It says no diesel fuel, no trucks. No trucks, no goods on grocery shelves, all right? No diesel fuel, which means these trucks won't be allowed and won't be able to deliver your goods, your basic necessities, or your gas to these stores, man, okay? And they're about to run out of diesel fuel in a matter of 24 days, all right? Today is October the 31st, all right? Of course, you got that wicked-ass pagan holiday, I don't really care, give a fuck about that, no way. But nevertheless, man, all right? So, hey, this place is done, man. All right, let's read a little bit more. Have you heard about the pending diesel fuel shortage? On October 14, it was said the United States had, the United States on, had only 20, a 25-day supply of diesel. If there is no change around election day, we'll see trucks parked throughout much of the country. Ooh, so hey, man, shit is about to get real, man, okay? It's about to get real out here, okay? And all you people out there that still talking about some damn stupid conspiracy theories, everything is a conspiracy theory, man, you people are in for a rude awakening, okay? Reality is about to hit a lot of you dumbasses like a ton of bricks, man, okay? You Americans are stupid and don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, thing. Look, shit is about to get worse here. Okay, let's read a little bit more. Bloomberg said the East Coast is already running out. It's over. Shipments on the way to Europe have been turned back. Admiral Admiral John Kirby is the spokesman for the National Security Council. During questions and answer over fuel supplies with reporters, the subject came up. Kirby wasn't aware of the crisis. <laughs> wow, I'm not surprised by that. Why has there been so little coverage until now by mainstream media 
media need mainstream news media all right why because they don't want to cover it okay they want to keep the people dumbed down and docile all right keep the people pacified with this whole situation with the kanye west or gay whatever the hell he called himself man all right and this whole anti-semi thing that's going on all right those things ain't nothing but distraction but it's also beneficial as well because hey these edomites are being found out man all right those small hatters are being found out. But nevertheless, man, okay? Hey, mainstream media is uh distracting you with the whole Paul Pelosi thing. Uh what else they distracting you with, man? All all kinds of shit, man. And hey, little coverage. And hey, I watch the news, man. It's, there's little to no coverage on this. All right, and if they do show some coverage, they make sure I'm out a second of it, and that's it. Alright? But shit is about to get real out here, man. Okay, these news media isn't going to be forced to cover it. They ain't going to have no choice but to cover it, man. Because shit is about to hit the fan. Okay, all hell is about to get ready to break loose. All right, let's read a bit more. <clears throat> could it be newsrooms across the country realize this could jeopardize their party's already dwindling chances in the midterms? Nobody care about that shit. They ain't know that whole midterm shit with the Democrats and Republicans taking back the House and the Senate and all of that. Nobody cares about that. Anyway, nevertheless, during the spring and summer, I stocked up on cans and dry goods. I did as I did it as a hedge against increasing inflation. Now it looks like my shelves could feed me during the cold month, colder months when store shelves are empty. <laughs> <clears throat> How did this happen? You can thank the granola goblin tree huggers <laughs> on the Americans left and the jokers in the White House. The ones promoting a green new economy, which is basically code for new world order. Alright? That's what that's code for. Alright? Alright? That whole green new deal, green new economy and all that shit. That's just code for new world order. Okay? They didn't plan how we crossed the ca the the catchment between point between points and point A and point B. Alright. You say click on this link and you'll discover what they've been selling. Selling is snake oil. I don't wanna click on that. Alright, but nevertheless, man, you see what's going on, man. Okay? Look. Things are about to get serious out here, man. All right, so without further ado, let's get the scriptures. I ain't going to make this too long. All right. So without further ado, let's get the scriptures. <clears throat> All right, let's start here. <clears throat> this is 2nd Israel chapter 6 and verse 22. And you're about to see a lot of this, man. Okay, you're already seeing some of it, but you're about to see a whole lot of this, man. Okay. It's happening in Idaho, but this is eventually going to spread throughout Babylon, okay? All right? Everybody, and even if it ain't hit your neck of the woods yet, hey, it's coming. Don't think it's not. Like I said, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, okay? Second is chapter 6 and verse 22. And suddenly shall the song places appear on song. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, okay? These grocery stores. Your supermarkets, all right? Hey, we got some supermarkets and grocery stores here where I live that have empty shelves, man. All right, they done took the cheap stuff and they done left the high price stuff, man. <laughs> hey, it's over with for this place, man. It's over with. People are buying the, the cheaper stuff and they're leaving the high price stuff, man, for you to choose from. <laughs> all right, so hey. Shit is about to get real, man, okay? Time of playing games is over with, man. This place is on its way out, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 23. Second Israel chapter... Let me read verse 22 again. Second Israel chapter 6 and verse 22 again. And suddenly shall the song places appear on song. The full store houses shall suddenly be found empty. Verse 23. And the trumpet shall give a sound which... <coughs> Excuse me. Which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. <coughs> Excuse me. God damn. Lock you. Oh, goodness gracious. Every time. 
Sloppy. Sorry about that. All right. Every time I get ready to do a lesson, man, it just starts coughing. All right. Ain't nobody but safe, man. Anyway, but like I say, man, all right, the sound of this trumpet is the man the Lord sounding this alarm. <coughs> Excuse me. Sloppy. Okay. So that's the man of the Lord sounding the alarm, <coughs> sounding the trumpet, okay? Okay, so hey, and that time is coming to an end. The time of us sounding the trumpet and sounding the alarm is coming to an end, man, okay? So hey, you better get this word and get this truth while you still can, man, all right? Because hey, you see what the situation is going on with uh, Ye and all that? Hey, eventually they're going to just shut this platform down, all right? When these devils realize that, hey, they can't defeat this truth, they're just going to shut the whole internet down, man, completely, okay? So, hey, the famine of the world is approaching, all right? <coughs> At the same time, you got a famine also that's coming, all right? Well, it ain't coming. It's here. I ain't going to say it's coming. It is here, man. It's at the doorstep, man, and it's knocking at the door. Verse 24, and at that time, Shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. No electricity, no running water, no food, man. Okay? This is what's coming to Babylon, the great America, man. Okay? Verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. Who's? world Esau Edom's world man and we're coming to the conclusion of Esau Edom's kingdom okay this place is falling and it is falling fast man all right let's go here <clears throat> this is second Israel chapter 16 verse 18 the beginning of sorrows and great mournings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of <coughs> excuse me the beginning of evils was <coughs> lock you sorry about that the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come okay we're entering to the days of evil man the beginning of evils evil days are upon us and as a matter of fact let's let's go get some right quick let's go to uh ezekiel 7 and <coughs> excuse me Sorry about that, man. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Second is just snot, snot, snot Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 5. Thus said the Lord, how about she shall have power? And evil and only evil, behold, is come. All right. Evil days are upon us, man. Okay. Like it tells you in Ephesians chapter 5, chapter 5, verse 15. All right. And you're going to get that. All right. Verse 6. And end is come. <coughs> the end it's come. It's watching for thee. Behold, it's, it's come. Okay? So the end is here, man. We are at the end of Esau's rulership, man. Okay? We're at the end of this devil's rulership. Okay? Verse 7. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near. And not the sounding again on the of the mountains man the day of trouble is near what day of trouble jacob's trouble man jeremiah 30 and 7 and daniel's 12 and 1 a time like no other okay so hey things are about to get real out here let's go to ephesians ephesians 5 and verse 15 all right this is what we should be doing Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil, okay? We're entering into evil days, okay? Jacob's trouble, man, okay? So, hey, all hell is about to get ready to break loose, all right? Let's go back to 2nd Israel, where was I? Yeah, right here. Back to 2nd Israel, chapter 16, verse 18 again. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Verse 19, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anger shall send as scourges for amendment 
all these are sent to correct you Israelites, man. Okay? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake you up. Okay? Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sore, famine, and great confusion. Okay? So, hey, evils are growing upon the earth, man, as we speak. Okay? Verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Okay? Verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Let's see. What, let's go and get this in the Good News Translation. Good News Translation. Where is it? There we go. All right. Go to the Good News Translation in Second Israel. Oh, down too far. Synocchio. Synocchio, sorry about that. What the heck? Just pushing things. Alright, here we go. Second Israel chapter 16, verse 18. Golly, all these pop ups, man. Hey. Slocky. <laughs> Second Israel chapter 16, verse 18 in the uh, Good News Translation. Troubles will come and many will many people will groan. Famine will come and many will die. You see? So famine, food shortages is coming. People are gonna starve to death, man. Okay? Wars will come and the world powers will tremble. Disasters will come and everyone will be terrified. What will people do? When these disasters come, all right? Hey, we didn't let, we already know what we're going to do. We're going to trust in the Lord. How about some y'all shy? Okay, all right? Verse 19, famine, epidemics, troubles, and suffering are sent to punish and correct people. Who? You Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. These things are being sent as scourges for amendment to correct you. To, hey, so you can repent, all right? Verse 20. But in spite of all this, they will not turn away from their sins. They soon forget their punishment. All right. Two thirds ain't going to turn away. All right. Two thirds ain't going to turn away from sinning. They love this world. They're comfortable living in Esau's kingdom, man. All right. Receiving the crumbs from this damn devil's table, man. We, hey, we want it. We want the whole table, man. We're ready for the kingdom to come. All right. The elect is. All right. 144,000 in the great multitude, the one-third men, women, and children. We're ready for the kingdom to come, all right? Hey, we're tired of Esau and his kingdom, all right? We're tired of this decrepit place. This place is depressing and vexing every single day, man, okay? We're ready for the kingdom to come, all right? <clears throat> Verse 21, the time is coming when food will be so cheap that people will think a time of peace and plenty has arrived. All right, right now, your food is some sort of cheap, but everything is going up, though. All right, inflation. Pretty soon, hyperinflation is going to increase, man, where everything is going to skyrocket. If these trucks stop, man, and if these trucks stop running, and, hey, can't deliver you supplies, your foods, and your basic necessities, what do you think is going to happen to the prices of these food and things? They're going to go up, okay? They're going to go up. So you about to see hyperinflation. Empty shells and hyperinflation, man. Okay? It's all coming. Okay? So you can't say you wasn't warned. All right? <clears throat> but then disasters will spring up everywhere. Wars, famine, and great confusion. This is coming. All right? Disasters, evil is about to spring up everywhere, man. Nowhere to run, no place to hide, man. Okay? Verse 22. Many people on earth will starve to death. Ooh. Yeah, that's coming, man. And that's the judgment of the Lord. How about some y'all shy? Okay? A lot of the people are about to starve, man. 
especially two-thirds of your Israelites, man. Okay, like it says in Isaiah 65, verse 13, 14, the Lord said his servants are going to eat in that time. But hey, two-thirds of your Israelites, you're going to be hungry. You're going to starve, okay? All right? Let's read verse 22 again. Many people on earth will starve to death, and those who escape starvation will be killed in war. All right, gonna be killed by that ultimate sword, man, which is an ICBM nuclear missiles, okay? Verse 23, their corpses will be thrown out like garbage, and there and there will be no one to left to comfort the living. The earth will be a des a de like, the earth will be deserted and its cities demolished, okay? Due to the looting and the rioting that's coming, man. Okay? Hey, these people are gonna loot, riot, all right. Like the Lord says, he comes to send fire on the earth. And what would it be if it be already kindled? So that fire is going to be kindled before, hey, Yahushua comes back, man. Okay? Let's go back. <clears throat> All right. Let's clear that. All right. What else we got here? Oh, yeah, let's go here. This is 2nd Israel chapter 15 and verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. This is what's coming, man. Okay? All right? This is what's coming. All right? Let's see what this says in the uh, Good News Translation. Second news was 15 and verse 49. All right. All right. Here we go. Second news chapter 15, verse 49. I will send disasters upon you. I will make you a widow and send poverty, famine, wars, and epidemics to destroy your homes and bring ruin and death. Whoo. <laughs> hey, man, you can't get no clearer than that, man. All right. <laughs> okay. You cannot get no clearer than that. Okay. Let's go to now the sec second Israel chapter 15 and verse 18. Okay. Points in verse 19. We're going to start at verse 18. Second Israel chapter 15, verse 18. Because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, the point. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? So you're going to have a lot of home invasion. And you people that's got food stocked up, hey, you're going to become a target, man. All right? Let's prove that. Let's go back up. All right? Right here. Second Israel chapter 15 and verse, uh, verse 18. Because the struggle of power for power will bring destruction, terror, and total confusion everywhere people live. Verse 19. Driven by famine and terrible sufferings, people will assault their neighbors and mercilessly plunder their possessions. Ooh. Whew. Wow. <laughs> Let's read that again, man. <laughs> Hey, this, hey, look, if this don't scare the hell out of you, I don't know what will, okay? All right? <laughs> if this word is true, all right, this message, this warning that's going out to you, Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, don't scare the hell out of you, I don't know what will, man, all right? You people just going to have to see it for yourselves, man, okay, when that time comes. And then you're going to wish you listened to the prophets, man, the men of the Lord. But it's going to be too late for a lot of you, man. All right, a lot of you isn't like it's going to be too late, okay? Only the remnant is going to be saved out of this, man. The elect, the 144,000 and one-third hopeful elect, men, women, and children, the great multitude, all right? They're going to survive this, all right? Okay? Verse 19 again. Second is chapter 15, verse 19. It says, driven by famine, food shortages, and terrible sufferings, people will assault their neighbors and mercilessly plunder their possessions you can't get no clearer than that man <laughs> that there man okay y'all keep playing all right <laughs> keep
keep playing. All right. And also, hey, what's going to happen? All right. Let's go here. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 5 and verse 10. All right. Eventually, when the food runs out, what's going to happen? Cannibalism is going to come back. Okay, let's read this. This is Ezekiel 5 and verse 10. Therefore, the father shall eat the sons in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers. And I will execute judgments in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter into all the winds, man. So cannibalism is going to come back in a major way. Okay, I want to see what this says in the Good News Translation. Ezekiel 5 and verse 10. Right? Ezekiel 5 and verse 10. Okay? As a result, parents in Jerusalem, all right? It's basically talking about people before place. It's talking about you as nice though, okay? Will eat their children, and children will eat their parents. That's cannibalism, man. Cannibalism is going to come back in a major way, okay? Like, it's, like it says in Daniel's 21, it's going to be a time like no other, okay? A time like no other on earth, man, okay? And you people still think this shit is a game. This is not a game, man, okay? Shit is about to get real out here. You Israelites, you need to stop playing games, man, Okay? Wake your asses up, man. Like it tells you in Romans 13 and 11, it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. It's time for you to wake the hell up, man. Shit is about to get real out here, man. Okay? The persecution, the forced implementation of the MOTB, World War Three, famines, you name it, man. It's all coming down the pipeline. Things are moving quickly now. Okay? All right? Things are moving quickly. We was used to say that it's coming. It's near. It's here right now. It's, it's at the doorstep, man. It ain't no longer coming. It's here. Okay? These devils are about to implement their, their digital uh, uh, monetary system. They're about to get rid of the petrodollar. The collapse of the uh, U.S. petrodollar is on the way. Okay? The NWO. The forced implementation of the MOTB, World War III, Jacob's Trouble, you name it, man. It's all here, okay? All right? Let's read this again. Ezekiel 5 verse 10 again. As a result, parents in Jerusalem will eat their children and children will eat their parents. I will punish you and scatter you, scatter and scatter in every direction any who are left alive, okay? So, hey. The glory of about Shinyan Shah is about to bring horrible judgment. Okay? Time of playing games is almost up, man. You people need to stop playing games, man. Because shit's about to get real. Let's read this. This is Ezekiel chapter 5, verse um, 16. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread. The Lord is breaking the staff of the bread here. The Lord Yahweh is bringing a famine to this land, man. To Babylon, the great America, man. It's judgment, all right? This is part of the Lord Yahweh judgment, man. All right? And famine is a plague. Like it tells you in 2nd Israel chapter uh, 15, verse... I'm just, let's read this and then I'm going to get it, all right? <laughs> verse 17. So will I send upon you famine. And evil beasts, as they shall bereave thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword upon thee. I, the Lord Yahweh, shall have spoken it. Okay? Let's go back to 2nd Israel chapter 15, verse 11. Let's get straight to the point. All right? 2nd Israel chapter 15, verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a scratch out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. All right? This is talking about new Egypt, man. This ain't talking about ancient Egypt. This is talking about modern-day Egypt, which is America, Babylon the Great, because of the captivity of the Israelites here, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? So the Lord said he's going to smite this place with plagues as before, all right? So, hey, what happened in um, ancient Egypt? It was smitten with all kinds of plagues, man, okay? 
The same thing is happening in this modern day Egypt, which is America. Okay. Verse 12. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Okay. Verse 13. They that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and the hail and with a fearful constellation. Okay. This is what's coming. Okay. So the time of playing games is over with. Let's see what this says in the NLT. I mean, not the NLT, but the uh, Good News Translation. Locked it. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse 11. <clears throat> I will use all my strength and power to bring them out of that land. All right. The Lord Yahweh is going to deliver his let, man. Okay. All right. I will bring disasters upon the Egyptians. Who's the modern day Egyptians? These Americans are. Okay. These Americans are the modern day Egyptians. All right. Really the Edomites. Okay. As I did earlier. And will I will destroy their country. Ooh. Verse 12. Out like the whole land will be in mourning. It will be shaken to its foundations when I the Lord Yahabashim Yashai strike it and pound on it. Ooh. The verse 13. The farmers will mourn because, because their seed will fail to sprout. Ooh. 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 Man. That's happening now as we speak. Let's read this again, man. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 13. The farmers will mourn because their seed will fail to sprout. What's been going on lately, man? Droughts. Come on, man. Tell me the Bible is not a real true book, man. Come on. <laughs> and their trees will be destroyed by bright, by blight. Hail and terrible storms. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That, hey, that's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Tell me this Bible is not a true book. All right? <laughs> you be lying to yourself if you say that. Man, it's... Hey, this Bible is a true book, man. And everything we've been prophesying... It's come to pass, man. Come on. All right? So, hey, the time of playing games is over with, man. All right? So, without for... Uh, let's see. What else I had? Um, Hold on. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Add on to that. Let's go to Lamentations 4 and verse 9. All right? Lamentations 4 and verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they... That be slain with hunger, for these pine away, stricken through, for what of the fruits of the field? Verse 10. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They were they were their meat in the destruction of the daughters, daughter of my people. You Israelites, man. Okay? So hey, a lot of you people are gonna be eating your own children, man. See real soon, Slunky. Let's get this in the good news translation and we're going to close out, man. I'm going to make the point. All right. Lamentations 4 and verse 9. All right. Lamentations 4 and verse 9 in the good news translation. He says, those who died in the war were better off than those who died later, who starved slowly to death. With no food to keep them alive. Ooh. Okay. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of you. It's a lot of you Israelites, man. You two third Israelites are going to starve and die a slow death, man. That's going to be the judgment of the Lord Yahweh me Shai. And some of you are going to be preserved for the ultimate judgment, which is some ICBM nuclear missiles and the laser beam fired from the chariots, man. Okay. All right. Verse 10. The disaster that came to my people. The Israelites brought horror. Loving mothers boiled their own children for food. Ooh. 
And that's coming again. Okay? What happened in the past is going to happen again, man. Like I said, there's no new thing under the sun. What has been shall be again. There's no new thing under the sun. All right? This is going to happen again. All right? All you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women that got all these children, man. <laughs> man, <laughs> when that time comes, man, all right, you're going to have to decide which child you're going to eat. Hey, don't mean to sound brutal, but hey, this truth got to come out, man. All right. Hey, it's got to be said because this is what's coming. Okay. All right. This is what's coming. All right. So the time of playing games is over with, man. You either going to get right with the Heavenly Father, how about some y'all shine, or that's your ass. Okay. Point blank period, man. Okay. All right. So without. Uh, let's see what else I got. Mm, that's it. That's pretty much it, man. All right. So with that, Lord willing, our praise and lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to you. How about Shimi Al Shai, by Shimra Kakadash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and citations go to the hope for let that scatter broad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing. Kwam Yon Sharala, Shalom, Wam, Wild Baba Ball, about a Wam, DTA, about a Ball. Boom! Show one to the next time. Show one.